hi everyone welcome back in this react js video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the docker with the react js so first of all we will install the docker then we will make the docker image of the react js project and then we will make the uh, development and deployment build and after that we will copy the image from container to local system so that you can get idea how you can copy the contain uh, deployment build from docker container to your server so let's get start with that so first of all i am going to make a react uh, start app first let's say first of all just install the docker so just write here docker for ubuntu All right, so just click on the official documentation and just open the command prompt also. Let's close all the terminals here. So from uh, they're asking about some what is the EE customer customers and OS requirements and all. So uh, telling about the if you have the old version how you can remove that. So but I'll directly suggest you to go to the install docker ce so this first step is just update your commands with that command the apt apt get update so just uh, run this command and this is installed globally so that you don't need to uh, install it any specific directory then it will you can access it anywhere just after the installing it so maybe in the middle of something i will Post the video when it will take too much time to install uh, something like when we are going to make the image and it will take uh, around 10 to 20 minutes 10 to 15 minutes then I will going to make the post the video otherwise it, the video will be getting too much long and it's unnecessary thing so but I'll complete all the steps that you need uh, to install this so maybe they'll take also some moments like one or two minutes but here i'm not going to post the video all right the after that uh, you can uh, use a second command so that uh, you can uh, get the packages here these are the common packages that we required for the uh, docker and after that we will uh, uh, use the official key so that we can uh, install it with the curl so this is same command we can copy it in advance okay so okay just just hit the enter after that you need to give the fingerprint key here all right uh, these are the your public key and the uids also here if you want to use for something so now just copy this directory and directly paste here and this will tell you about the stable update okay so now if uh, you want to update once again then you can update your package so just update your apt here after that it will ask you some question about uh, let's say if you want to install the latest and uh, stable version of docker then you can use this one otherwise if you have the install a specific version then you can use this this commands all right so just copy this one okay so side by side i am doing one more thing so i am going to use one just i am going to make a fresh react project here so that uh, we can get from the very very static on the desktop i'm going to make dir docker and inside the docker mm -hmm. okay just right here uh, create a react app and app name let's say react doc all right so now we have two command lines to run it's looking nice 
okay so after that uh, it will take some time so i'm going to minimize it so now just uh, copy this for the latest version and put here directly all right so i already installed uh, this specific version so that it will ask me that there is a zero upgrade no new upgrades here so for confirmation then you can use the simply docker command and it will tell you that's lots of command that you can use here all right so let's see how much time it will take okay so after that uh, it will take some time that uh, we can do some more things so that we will got the configuration so we need some commands okay just just i'm going to hold for a second to this video so uh, this react can be uh, installed as a fresh project so i'm going to pause this video for some time so now you can see that we just installed the new project so i'm going to in the directory react talk and here just for test i'm going to start the npm test so let's see what's going on and in this moment i am going to open this project in my uh, visual studio editor so just open this here it's a desktop and let's go to the talker where's the talker mm, it should be on the desktop I'm not able to find it all right this is here and open my project here okay just open the chrome so you can see that we the application is running fine all right okay so just make some change here so that we can see that is it fine so I'm going to react docker alright that's fine so what I am going to do now I need a file here inside the react doc uh, you can see that in my uh, root folder so I'm going to make a file so just write the touch docker file and there should be a file uh, okay did we got yes this is a docker file okay and you can see that this, there is a docker sign also so my code editor will understand this for now i need some more commands in this file so i already uh, write this command so that it can save the time and sometimes i actually forgot the right command also so i'm just copying this code from uh, my raw screen to the docker file okay so now i'm going to explain it uh, first of all uh, why we use the docker uh, so if you have this question is I'm going to answer this docker will create a container when you run this container then it doesn't me uh, it doesn't need to the node or npm anything else on your system it will uh, have a separate kind of machine said so that uh, it will uh, run these old commands and automatically make the uh, all environmental things that it, that the project needed so first of all what we need basically we need the note of the latest version or you can put the uh, any version that you need all right so after that we are going to make uh, this directory to our container i'll show you where it will create it and this is our which is our work directory is also here then we need to the copy.json file then you can also add or copy the file it's up to you then we can use the npm install command if we uh, have to install this and if you don't need to the npm install then you can comment it or you can out it then we are going to add the src folder uh, in this folder and then we need a public folder also in this needle so that we can got the html and all this file so we got we are not uh, got the node modules here because it's up to you and if you, we need then we can use the npm install command and public folder we got there and uh, source folder we got there and package.json also got there all right so now everything is ready 
so now okay so now is the our docker environment is ready from our side so we just need to one command so that it can uh, use for it to the uh, make the image so the image command is sudo and docker image build minus t and the name of your build let's say my image name is react all right i'm going to hit the enter it will ask me the password okay so it will need one more parameter actually so you can use a dot this is the optional parameter and now you can see that sending build context with docker dot so now it will take some time to install or make the image so i'm going to pause the video again and whenever it will going to complete this process we are just start the video from the here and you can see that there is only five step as installed from the nine and uh, eight and nine step are taking too much time so i'm going to paste pause this video and we're going to start from here just after installing so now you can see that uh, docker is also installed and image is also ready so now how we can check that image is ready so for that you can need one more command which is sudo docker run minus it and your uh, image name and we what we put the image name in last command uh, we put the react react and just you can use the bash all right so now you can see that we are uh, on the root of the container this is the root and this is our container id and this is our path name that we made here so you can see that we made made the user source app all right so now if i'm going to uh, use the ls so you can see that we have the node modules here why we have the node modules because this command is already run here all right so now the package uh, is package.json and package.log src everything is here so now let's try this is a container and let's try to use the run our react so just write the npm str start why the npm start is work here because we put the uh, cdn command here that's why it's working okay so now you can see that we got the successful compiled here and this is running here also and this is also running or on the uh, if this is another address and this is not my ip also so uh this is on my network okay so just i'm going to skip this one now and here i'm going to run npm run build just just now see that there is not uh, any build folder is here and i'm going to make now npm run build okay it will also take some moments we can wait for this and then now okay so now you can see that with the build command uh, with the ls command build folder is also here but now how we can get it from the outside to the container so this is also a question for that we have to exit this and just go uh, first of all let's take it to the step by steps just copy the this uh, container id this is useful for now just copy this and i am going to just paste it here for a second so just exit here and now you are on your computer command line so now just uh, i am going to just go back one folder and in the docker i am going to fill make the new folder okay just check there is a no another folder uh, except the react docker this one's the react docker and inside we have the react so i am going to copy this build here for that i am on the same folder for this is a command which is okay, just copy this one this is the command for copy the 
data from the container to outside so first of all we need the sudo docker container name write the cp sorry uh, cp then container name a colon and you can use the user what, what is happening with that usr and then you can use the src folder src then use the app and directly you can use the dot command so now just go back here and you will see that after the doc uh, outside the react doctor we got this and here we got the everything with the, like the build here and you can use this build to run and the old and old model the same thing you can do on the server so when you are just copy the container on your uh, aws or any other service then you can create the image make the build after the build you can copy your container to your uh, 8080 folder or your root folder of your apache server or whatever you are going to use so this is a basic things about how we can use the docker with the react js and still you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box you can ask me on the my facebook page link is given in the description box don't forget to subscribe this video please like this video also so thanks guys thanks for watching this